Father, we're thankful for Christmas morning in church. We're thankful, Father, for the freedoms that we enjoy as free people and free nation. We know that a price is paid for this. And we pray for our military men and women throughout the world, especially those that are in harm's way. That they would reach out for you for guidance and for direction in their lives that they might be prepared to face their day. We pray for our leaders. We thank the Father for again for the freedoms that we enjoy and we pray for our leaders that, that you would help them to make the decisions that would, uh, would honor you. We pray that we'd be a people that would honor you. That we'd be part of your kingdom coming and your will be done. And we thank the Lord for this time of the year where we can reflect on what you've given us as we give to our families. We pray for the service this morning, that the message might reach a heart that's, that needs you in a desperate way. And we know, Lord, that what you've done for each one of us as Christians, you can do for anybody that needs you. And so we we pray in Jesus' name that you would take our thoughts and our words and make them acceptable to our Father. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. 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 What's your favorite part of Christmas? Dressing up the Christmas tree. When we get down all the food, getting the Christmas presents, getting out my room, picking the corner, and seeing the same closets. What's your least favorite part? Last year, the tree was thick and you could see right through it. My brother cried because he's scared of Santa, but I'm not. What kinds of things do you like to do in the snow? Play in the snow. I like to make snowmen. Make snow angels. Make snow angels. And then I like to skate, but throw it hard. I think you can do it. Whose birthday is on Christmas? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is. Jesus. I mean, I mean, Jesus. And where was Jesus born? In a tent, in a state, at a hospital, in Bethlehem, in Oklahoma. What kind of animals were there? Sheep and cows, horses, chickens, camels, pigs, and sheep. I don't think that. Why do other people get presents on Jesus' birthday? Um, because they did good. Well, they gave presents to him when he was born, and we didn't give gifts to each other. Because Jesus was the gift from God. What do you think is Jesus' favorite part of Christmas? Just seeing people happy. See how everyone's being kind to one another. Probably the missions for all the homeless people. If you could give Jesus a present, what would you give him? A puppy dog. A snowball. A little bear, and he loves it. A game with my toys. My love. My heart. Everything I have. Why do you think Jesus came to live with us? Because he loves everything, but he did most of it. Because he wanted us to be good, not bad. God's son, and that was what God wanted him to do. And that way he could fix out all the problems that we're having. It felt like we were more important than him. I think he loves us very much. Why is Christmas so special? Jesus was born on that day. We couldn't you share it with your friends and family. It's a day where we can spend time and we get to give presents to people without shame. Well, it's always interesting to know what 
children think about Christmas. But I tell you, some adults I know probably don't have a much better understanding of what Christmas is about than that. And so, first of all, the news to the children, you know, children's uh, church today. So we're going to hang with us. That was one of the reasons we had that wonderful cartoon for you. All right? Not that it was for us adults at all. We're so glad that you decided to come and be with us today. God has given us so very much. It behooves us this time of year to think about who has done more for us. Uh, we think that we've done uh, maybe pretty well with each other. We've shown our love and our concern to each other. We've tried to be a blessing to each other. But who has done more for us than our God? You see, He gave and so hard sometimes for us to remember that if we want to be like God, we're going to have to be people who are prepared to give, to care, to meet needs of people. And as, uh, as we look at Galatians chapter 4, in this particular passage, uh, I want you to see, first of all, that God was planning this from ages past. Uh, when the right time came, you see that phrase. And so if God in His timing from before the foundation of the earth was looking through history and at the right time, at just the right time, God sent His Son, born of a woman, subject to the law. And we can let some of these things go by today, but let's not. God sent His Son, born of a woman. Notice it doesn't say born of a man. 